Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And today I got on bonnet. But I have been looking at some of the comments in my um on my videos. And like I told y'all in the thing before, I wanted to kind of go over some of the things that I saw. And talk to y'all about it because these are all the points that people have had in their comments. But we're going to get to that part of the video in a minute. I wanted to kind of touch base with y'all about some of the things that was like key things that I needed as far as um, tightening up my stomach, my skin, anything like that, my hair, my nails, all that shit. I'm going to talk to y'all about it because these are valid points that people have been bringing up. And this is that, no, that Neutrogena Hydro Boost. What the hell is this? Gel cleanser. I use this for my face because, child, I'm, mm-mm, uh-uh. No. So, some of the things that I seen in the videos, in the comments was, one of the main things I seen was hair loss. This lady asked me, she said, Monica, she said, you talk about a lot of stuff. She said, I've noticed since I've been taking the Jaro that, uh, I've been losing my hair. Girl, let me tell you what I did. Soon as I noticed that I was losing my hair, I ordered me a wig. Mm -hmm. But besides that, what I did was I went to Walgreens. All jokes aside, I went to Walgreens and I purchased me some prenatal vitamins. But because I'm broke as fuck, and I don't got that kind of money. I went to the Dollar Tree. When I went to the Dollar Tree, which I think they should call it the Dollar Twenty Five Tree, when I went to the Dollar Tree, I bought me some prenatal vitamins from there. There it is. And if you feel like that's not working, take the prenatal vitamins and then go to any beauty supply store, whether you black, white, green, purple. There is in your city. There is what we call a beauty supply store. Go to the beauty supply store. Go to the beauty supply store. It's a stuff called Wild Growth. It's a hair oil. Put it on your scalp. Take the prenatal vitamins. But listen to me. All things, everything that I did, I did my way because I'm not a conventional person. I did it that way because I knew hair, nails, and skin pills you can find anywhere. CVS, Walgreens, or anything like this. So go get that. That's what I use for the hair loss stuff. And I like wigs. And so, oh well. That's what I did. Okay. Um, Ed Vision, at Ed Vision Network, 8758, two days ago, she said, girl, I love your videos. You're so honest and to the point. The reason why I'm so honest and to the point is because I was y'all. I don't, uh-uh, mm, girl, I ain't no way to be but to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next question I got was, was from Doug. D eighty one thirty nine. Thank you for your videos. I live in Ohio. I remember you. Even ha even has a plus size woman. You're beautiful, and you look even more beautiful now. I will be wrapped. I will be wrapped my shots up in February. I was nervous, but I just lost my father, and I said I needed to change my lifestyle. Depression can cause a person to gain weight, and then it, um, this person um, is that I gained sixty five pounds. I lost. Before COVID, I'm doing well with counting my calories. I eat well, don't smoke, drink, or snack. I'm a little afraid to stick myself, but if it's going to make me healthier, I am. Hey, Doug, Doug, listen. Doug, listen. I was scared to, to do the same thing. I was scared to, about the shot. I was scared. But, Doug, I lost my sister, and then six months later to the day, I lost my dad. At the end of the day, I know what you went through. When I lost my sister, I gained, I know, 81 pounds. I know. This is the ordinary hyaluronic acid I'm getting ready to use on my face. And I'm also going to use this by ordinary, this neomyocyte by ordinary. Because I got somewhere to go real quick. And so I don't want to look like, you know, crazy. So I'm going to do my makeup. But when you do your makeup, not, Doug, I ain't forgot you. When you do your makeup, you got to make sure you oil your face. You got to moisturize your face because we older. That goes for you too, Doug. Oil your face, baby. Listen, 
It's going to take time for you to get used to losing your father and everything like this. But listen to me. I'm sure that your dad wouldn't want you to give up. I'm sure he wouldn't. So listen to me, Doug. Get back up. It's every day is not going to be a walk in the park. It's not. Grieving is a process that I can't even explain it. I'm still grieving. And my sister been gone since 2015. Doug, if you need to talk, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? But you got to get up, Doug. That food is... You're right. I do smoke, though. Do I snack? Of course I do. But it's what I snack on. Like, I could go get a can of pineapples, put it in the refrigerator. I put it in the refrigerator, then I'll go back and I'll put me a little something in a bowl. And I'll eat on that. Or I'll drink it. Or I'll drink the juice of it. Or I'll eat, like, a handful of something and then that's it. If I feel like I ate too much, then I won't go back. I'm not going back to that size. So, yeah. I kind of... Okay, the next question I got was five days ago from Rakesha9000. She said, Miss Monica, I'm right here with you. And agree with what you stated. At my highest weight, I was 467 pounds. I got down to 350. From 350, I got down to 319. Then started Manjaro exactly one year ago. I am fluctuating between 239 and 235. I'm going to enjoy this style that I am currently in. But most definitely, I am doing this for me. Because it was for me. She said. She said, I'm doing this because uh, it was me who had... 200 pounds. However, it may take this journey for me. I don't care what they say about Manjaro, Ozempic, Wagovi, etc. GP, G1Ps are 20 years old. It's exciting not to know the different sizes that I am having to figure out nothing. Okay, listen to me, Rakesha. Rakesha, listen. Yes, I'm right there with you. See, somebody, people that is a regular size won't know what it's like. To actually have that kind of heavy weight on you. You feel like you in a life-size prison damn near. You feel like you be looking. And, and it's not nothing intentional. But you be looking at other women that is not your size. That is smaller than you. And you think it to yourself. You want to think like. Oh okay she thinks she all that. Woo -woo, scooty bop or whatever the fuck. That's what you be thinking. But deep down in your mind. It's not that you jealous of her. It's that you want to be her weight. I was that girl. I was that girl. I was that person. I, I would say little shit. Like, oh, she thinks she cute. Da, 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 da. But that's only because I wasn't her size. I would have thought that shit too. I sure now would have. This is that got to be glue um, eyebrow gel. I'm just setting my brows because I just did my brows um, a minute ago, and um, I'm setting them so they don't move all over the place, and I don't have to worry about them rubbing them off and all that other stuff. I got this off of Amazon, I believe. I got this off of Amazon. Really good eyebrow glue, whatever. The um, What I'm doing now is I'm blending in that concealer that I use to carve out my brows with because I'm not going to do no eyeshadow today. I'm just doing bronzer up there. So, yeah, that's the only reason why I'm doing it. And I don't think I'm using a very heavy foundation today. But, <clears throat> Rakesha, you got to remember, my biggest fear is getting back to my threes. I don't, I think my scary weight would be 270. I'm not going to get to 270. I'm not. So, yeah, you got to have that mindset. You got to be strong enough because this is a fight. Okay, the next question I saw was just Jen 3216. She said, your videos are amazing. You look amazing right now and are an, are an inspiration person for sharing your experiences. I'm on Ozempic. The first month on 25, lost five pounds. When I got to 0 0.5, I gained three pounds. I was so depressed. Then they boost me up to one milligram. I have been doing keto and trying to hydrate because putting on three pounds made me so depressed this time. I went to the doctor yesterday and after being on one milligram for four weeks, I lost 14 pounds. I'm so happy. I know every weight in it won't be that successful, but I really needed the reason to smile after disappointing myself prior to within. I'm 259 pounds now and I'm elated just to be under 260. I'm going to keep on pushing. You are looking amazing. Thank you, Jen. Let me tell you this, Jen. I told y'all in the video before 
that 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 scale is the devil. Stay off of the scale. The reason why is because you are going to see your weight fluctuating. You are going to see your weight. Hold on one second. Let me get my makeup brush. You're going to see your weight fluctuating. You're going to see your weight going up and down, up and down. Some of it's water, some of it's weight. Just watch it, Jen. Watch it, Jen. You got to stay off of that scale because it will make you depressed. Now, what I did off camera was I used my Elf Power Grip Primer that I bought from Walmart. And I used my Becca, this Becca. They don't make this no more, so y'all need to protest their ass because I like that shit. And then I sprayed my face down with this. This is the Makeup Revolution Hydro Matte Fixing Spray. That's what I used to set my my primer on my face because remember I moisturize whatever now the foundation that I'm using is this Danessa Myrick's yummy squeak yummy skin and it looks like this that is the bomb but it's my summer complexion as you can see so I mixed it with a little bit of this Maybelline fit me which is my exact shade and this is the 360 so I mixed those together I had that on my hand and this is what's on my brush so I'm gonna pat that foundation in I'm gonna mix it in together and it's gonna make my perfect skin shade see that all I did was just darken it a little bit. Stay from underneath your eye as well. I only put a little bit underneath my eyes. This is too much. Go over your eyelid. Reese's big. I put that damn, what is that stuff called? That concealer up there when I was carving out my brows. I put that concealer up there. And so I don't want that to be a different color. So as you can see, once this foundation sits, it's going to blend in just perfect. You go down on that neck. The reason why you don't want to look like the master movie. So you blend that shit in and you keep blending. I'm going to blend while y'all off camera because I do have somewhere to go. So I just thought I will just... Blend. Another question that I had gotten that I had seen a lot of was the question was, how come my skin is not hanging? If I was 364 pounds, why is my skin not hanging? The reason why my skin is not hanging because, see... I grew up in a town where everything didn't come on a computer or no shit like this. It just came. So we had to figure it out. So what I did was I took it upon myself to be like, Monica, you know you don't want your skin to hang. So when I would know I would walk long distances, I would hold my stomach in and hold it in, hold it in, hold it in, hold it in until I couldn't hold it in no more. That's what I would do at work every day. I would, every time I walk down the hallway, anywhere. I will hold my stomach in. The reason why I was holding my stomach in to train my stomach muscles to retract so that my stomach wouldn't hang. Do I need a waist trainer? Of course I do. Do I like them? No, I don't. But I'm going to figure that out too. So, and another thing I did, a lady asked me in the comments, like, did I use any kind of cellulite cream or anything like this for my cellulite or anything like this? No, I didn't. What I did was, this is that Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy bronzer that I'm using to kind of bronze up my face because I did use a liquid bronzer. I did use a contour bronzer, but I want to kind of blend that in a little bit because you want that sun-kissed look. You want that, but you don't want it to be overwhelming. So what you want to do is you want to bring color back to your face because foundation takes it away. Now keep in mind, keep in mind I'm going to still put my blush on and then I'm going to go over all of this with my foundation brush that I used in the beginning to bring in, to um, put my foundation on. So what I use for um, cellulite cream, now keep in mind, I'm not a doctor. I don't have no kind of experience. I'm not nobody. Just by my said, they're going to look at you like you is crazy. So I instead, I did like conventional things. I went to the Family Dollar. And I got me some Preparation H. The reason why I got the Preparation H, Preparation H shrinks hemorrhoids. It do. Preparation H hits, uh, shrinks hemorrhoids. So I wiped the Preparation H on my stomach, and I left it. And that Preparation H don't it don't seem conventional to a lot of people. And I probably get a lot of hate for this. I don't give a damn. Don't put it in my comments though. But this is what I use. I put the preparation H on my stomach. I put it on my thighs. I put it on wherever that cellulite was at. And because it shrinks your hemorrhoids, I figured like it'll shrink the cellulite and it did. 
Do you need to use it? No. Did I use it? Yes. If I could continue to use it, mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to use. Preparation. Okay, as you can see, I'm, I'm in my car headed to my destination. This is the final look. I wanted to go ahead and tell y'all one more thing before I close this video out. I have been looking. See, I'm not the normal kind of person. I always look for the other side of things. So what I did was... I was talking to a girl recently. She was like, Monica, she said, I'm so proud of you that you lost your weight. She said, I got something to tell you. I said, what is it? She said, go get some Vicks Vapor Rub. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it. She said, go get some Vicks Vapor Rub and rub it on your stomach and put some Saran Wrap, regular kitchen Saran Wrap on your stomach and wear that underneath your clothes. I couldn't understand why she was telling me to do that. But then I got to thinking like, okay, I'm going to try that out. So... My goal for this week is going to be to try that damn um, Vicks Vapor Rub and that Saran Wrap out. If it works, I'm going to let you know. If you want to try it with me, leave it in the comments. Like, I don't want nobody thinking that these are proven facts that I'm telling you. All I'm telling you is what works for me. Right now, I'm headed to my destination. I got somewhere to be at 11. I think I got on here for this video just to go ahead and tell y'all exactly some of the little hidden things that I did to that I'm doing to try to um, escalate this weight loss that I'm doing. Is it working? It's working for me. Is it something that should be done on a regular basis? Yeah. Am I getting better at it? Yeah. My husband did eventually hook up the We Fit this morning. So we're going to try the We Fit tonight. And I think we're going to do it like maybe twice a week. That's all we really need is twice a week. Then we'll build up in two weeks. We'll go higher, higher, higher. Yeah. So these are things that I'm working on this week. As you can see, I got on my shirt that says Made in the 90s. And that I got from, I think I got this one from T-Move. And then my jacket I got from Rainbow. And my jeans matched the jacket. And it got like holes in it or whatever. And um, it matches the jacket. And I got that from Rainbow. But the size of these jeans is um, a size, um, I think it's a size 20, but they so big on me and they stretchy. So I think I need to try either a 16 stretchy or an 18 stretchy and see if that fit a little better. Because a 20, I, I ain't going to get it. They look like mom jeans. So right now, mom jean and I got on my, <coughs> my multicolored, um, my multicolored ones, high top ones that I got. So, yeah, that's what I have on in the Shein brown purse. That's what I got on. The brown purse I was talking about in that other video, that's the purse I got on. So, yeah, the clone, I ain't, I don't know what the clone is, but it smells really good. It's upstairs. But whatever it is, I got it on. But, yep, I'm on my way right now to my appointment. That's what See, I'm what I think the reason why people say that I'm so relatable to them is because I'm a regular person. There's nothing special about me. Am I, do I have expensive things? No, no, I don't consider nothing expensive. I consider just things that I work for. Mm -hmm. But because I was so big for so long, I have been watching and looking at certain things I knew that I couldn't afford. So what did I do? I went on ahead and I did what the fuck I had to do to get myself to this point. And I'm loving it. When I say I am loving it, I am absolutely loving it. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of what I look like standing up in this outfit. And I'm going to um, I'm gonna take a picture of myself with, with this, looking like this, I guess, whatever. And then um, some other stuff, and then I'll put this video together, and I'm going to post it. I try to post as much as possible why I got tagged, because right now, not only am I transitioning with my body and my mind, I'm transitioning with a whole host of other stuff. Eventually, we'll be able to talk about that because I still want y'all to consider me as y'all friend. I don't want... Y'all will never see me with a bunch of bitches. That's what you won't see me with. You will never see me in a crowd of bitches. You'll never see me hanging out with a bunch of women. The reason why I say that is because I'm an introvert and I don't... I don't need a bunch of friends. I don't. But I consider y'all friends because y'all talk to me and y'all really genuinely want to know exactly what's going on with me. I don't want to sugarcoat shit. I don't want shit to be handed out because it wasn't handed out for me. You know what I'm saying? When I was fat, it was women that was actually after my husband when I was heavier. And when I knew that they were after my husband, I would feel like 
I will feel like shit. Like, like, why is she with me or why did she choose me? My husband never made it known that these women was doing this. I would see it. You see what I'm saying? My husband was the type. My husband is the type that don't pay shit like that attention. But any person, any person with they right mind would. I noticed it. I noticed all of it. I noticed all of it. And I got tired of that. I wanted my husband to look at me. That's what I thought. So, but the reason why I keep saying that's what I thought is because that's at that time, that's what I thought. I wanted my husband to look at me more. But my husband told me recently in a conversation we was having, like, baby, I didn't fall in love with you for your weight. I didn't fall in love with you for your height. I fell in love with you for you. Get the girl was R. Kelly shit that day. But, yeah. But this is what my husband told me. But as a woman, I got jealous a lot. A lot. Yeah, but we'll talk about it. As that. you can see, I made it to my destination. I think I'm going to end this video here. But yeah, I had times where I was like super jealous. And I would start an argument with my husband because I would say stuff like, You seen that bitch looking at you? But. In between that, I didn't think like, see, I was an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not perfect. I was an idiot. I'm sitting there arguing with my husband about bitches looking or bitches trying, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. That wasn't my husband's fault. That was my fault. I should have said something. But I didn't. Oh, God. But I didn't say anything. I left it alone. I left it. Where was that? Sure the fuck did because I was I wasn't jealous of them. I think I was just I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. But now I'm insecure and I'm I'm a regular size. Now I'm insecure because not because of the other women. No. I'm insecure now because I'm gonna pull some of this hair out because I don't want it up like that. I'll fix it after I get off here. I done messed it up. I don't care. But I'm I'm jealous now of other women because they're confident. I'm not as confident. You can see that because I'm fixing my hair and I don't know why. I had it real cute. So I'm fixing it back. But nevertheless, I just feel like everything is going to, I don't know, even out for me. I don't know. It should, Lord. Lord, please, God, let it because I'm tired. But, yeah, these are some of the things I just wanted to shoot my shit and talk to you about. Because, it's like I said before, I got a lot of shit on my mind. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. But I got to fix this hair before I go in there because I fucked it up. But I think I'll leave it like that. Fuck it. But either way, like, comment, and subscribe. And I thank y'all for watching. It's just we got a long way to go and a short time to get the fuck there. So, yeah, <clears throat> like this video or whatever. You like it, you like it, you don't. Okay. But like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.